we're going to be looking at electric fields. Electric fields are due to objects having charge. In the space around charged objects, an electric field is created. The definition of electric field strength, given by capital E, is it's the force exerted per unit positive charge. So what that means is if we place one coulomb of positive charge at a point in an electric field, then the force that acts on it will represent the electric field strength. From the definition of electric field strength, we can get the equation. So it's the force exerted divided by charge. So it's the force per unit positive charge. And it, the units of electric field strength will be given by the units of force, which is newtons, divided by the units of charge, which is coulombs. So the units are newtons per coulomb. And the direction of electric field strength, it's a, it's a vector quantity, so it has direction. But it's the direction in which a positive charge would move, and that is from positive to negative. So you also need to be able to draw electric field patterns. And so the rule is that electric field lines leave or meet a charged surface at 90 degrees. If we first consider the electric field pattern inside charged parallel plates, so we've got one plate which is positively charged and one plate which is negatively charged. Well, the electric field lines are going to move from positive to negative and they're going to leave the positive plate at 90 degrees and, uh, and arrive at the negative plate at 90 degrees. So it will look like this. It's also showing that the field strength is uniform because the spacing between the field lines are equal. So let's now consider the electric field pattern for a point charge or a charge sphere. What we mean by a point charge is it's got a negligible size, the charge. Because we've got a positive charge here, the field lines will be leaving from the surface from the charge and they're leaving at 90 degrees. So it will form a radial electric field pattern. We have a positively charged sphere suspended between two charged parallel plates and due to the electric field of the parallel plates the positively charged sphere is deflected towards the negative plate. That means there is a force acting on the charged sphere due to the electric field and that's acting to the left. If the charged sphere is stationary, then the other forces acting on the sphere is its weight, which is vertically downwards, and the tension along the string. As the charge is stationary, it is in equilibrium, and so we can produce a triangle of forces. So we'll first take our weight, which is acting vertically downwards and then add our electric force, which is acting to the left, and then we'll add the tension that's along the string. We can then use trigonometry, and we can say that tan theta is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. So the opposite is the electric force, and the adjacent is the weight. From the definition of electric field strength, we can say that the electric force is equal to the charge times the electric field strength. So we can substitute for electric force into this equation and rearrange to make it the subject so that Q times E will equal the weight times tan theta.